I couldn't even stand up properly. How could he do that? Why was I experiencing this? I just wanna be happy, happy Hi guys! So, andito naman tayo sa panibagong vlog. And for today's vlog, I want to share with you personal matters. Yung mga life struggles, mga challenges. Things that I have experienced this past couple of months. Things that shifted my perspective 180 degrees. Things which, until now, I couldn't even imagine I would have to go through these. Things that really tested my faith a lot. So I know that each of us has our own struggles, has our own challenges that we are facing and I just want to let you know that you are not alone. I want to share how I face and I'm still facing those challenges. So let's start! September 2020, my work visa got cancelled. This country is my dream country to work. I am waiting for this for more than a year. Aiming for this for five years. Praying for this for like eternity. Fortunately, I got accepted. I got my job offer and my visa got approved. Unfortunately though, pandemic happened. There were fewer business needs. So I was really sad. I was really devastated knowing that it was cancelled. But you know, there are things that happened which are really out of our control. But you know, um, I'm still not losing my hope that this opportunity will soon be realized. You know, there are things that God delays but it doesn't mean that it's not meant for you. He just believes that you are not yet ready to accept his blessing. So he's still giving you ample time to prepare. And when the time is right, the Lord will make it happen. Fast forward to October 2020. I was broken hearted. This is the corniest actually. This is the most corny na na experience ko. I don't want to divulge into details because I have utterly moved on. Pero wag ka. <laughs> Single ako pero broken, a broken hearted ako, di ba? Kaya hindi lang talaga in a relationship ang um, nasasaktan kami din mga single. Nasasaktan din kami. <laughs> Thinking how ridiculous I look like when I was crying every day, every night, and in between makes me laugh. Pero iniisip ko talaga yung pag naaalala ko siya. I couldn't believe that I cried so hard. I shed so many tears for a person that was not so me. <laughs> Pero yun, syempre, talagang pinagdadaanan niya ng tao eh. Pero ngayon talaga, nakakatawa na lang yung experience. Time really heals all wounds. <coughs> Dati naiisip ko pa, Why did he do that? When did he change? How could he do that? Why was I experiencing this? I was really yearning for answers. Because everything happens for a reason, right? Pero I have also come to realize that there are answers which don't matter anymore. Because he doesn't matter anymore or that problem doesn't matter anymore but uh, during the time when I haven't moved on and I was still hurting I got a new job offer a job offer from a new company the salary range was like six digits my previous company made a counter offer but my mind was so topsy-turvy I thought that I needed a change of environment that a change of environment could help me move on Faster, I decided to still accept the job offer from the new company, which led me to my third dilemma. I lost my job. How did this happen? I started working January 2021 in my new company. A travel ban happened, plus still it's pandemic. The client decided to discontinue the project, and it would be like domino effect, right? No project means no work. They decided to terminate my contract. I was left jobless and I didn't know what to do. 
alam mo, tulala lang ako. I was so shocked. I was in disbelief. Hindi ako makapaniwala na nawala na ako ng trabaho. Alam mo yun na, okay ako sa dati kong company, but <coughs> I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. Kasi, di ba, I was still going through some things. And then another problem came in. It was like piling up. Problems just came in. Like, there's no indication of ever stopping. Na hindi pa nga nare-reserve yung isa. Here comes another one. I really cried so hard. Sino ba namang hindi, di ba? Pandemic, tapos wala kang trabaho. Na dapat, supposed to be, meron kang stable na work. Sa magandang company. Sa okay na ka-work. Pero, all of a sudden, nawala lahat yun. Nawala lahat ng meron ako. Two days after kong malaman na wala na akong trabaho, I went to see an ophthalmologist. Kasi napapansin ko nung mga nakakaraang buwan, kahit may salamin ako, my vision was blurry. Hindi ko nababasa yung mga texts. Hindi ko nababasa. Nahihirapan ako ang labo ng mata ko. Sobrang labo ng mata ko. The ophthalmologist said that I either have cataract or yung gasgas sa cornea. So, need ko ng second opinion dun sa specialista sa cornea. Just the possibility of having a cataract made me want to cry. And that's what I did. I cried so hard. I cried the bucket. Kasi, kaya alam ko ang drama ko kasi hindi pa nga sure kung cataract. Pero, iyak talaga ako ng iyak. Siguro kasi, nagpatong-patong na yung problema ko. And, ito na naman. Tapos gastos na naman. And ang hirap nang wala kang nakikita. So anyways, I went to see another doctor. Fortunately, it was not a cataract. Marami lang akong gasgas sa cornea. But I don't need operation. So I was still happy. Unfortunately though, my eyes were and are still dry. That I would have to use artificial tears for life. And I took eye steroids for a month. Hanggang ngayon, hindi okay talaga yung mata ko. So, I need to see the doctor again. Kasi, hindi pa din ako talaga nakakabasa ng malinaw. So, that's my fourth dilemma. My eye problem. So, I started to have self-pity. But, life must go on, right? So, I still submitted applications. I went through a lot of interviews and hiring processes. And guess what? I couldn't get a job. So I started doubting my abilities. I started doubting myself. I started doubting my worth. I started having low self-esteem. To be honest, mula nang nag-start akong mag-work, never in my life na nagka-problema ako sa pag-a-apply, sa, sa company, sa work, sa finances. Because I was blessed enough to be accepted with whichever companies I applied at. I was blessed enough to get the salary I asked for. Kahit paano, I can say that I was a performer and I did my job to the best of my abilities. And dati, ako yung namimili kung ano yung job offer na tatanggapin ko. But all of a sudden, I was in this situation where no company accepted me and not getting accepted humbled me. Hindi naman ako mayabang even, even before but this experience made me even more humble. And yun, dapat talaga magstay tayo na maging humble because you don't know when your life will turn upside down. Hindi porket hindi mo na siya na-experience dati is wala nang possibility na ma-experience mo siya in the future. Sobrang nakaka-stress talaga yung na-cancel na yung visa mo, broken-hearted ka na nga, tapos may problema ka na sa mata, wala ka pang trabaho, wala kang sweldo, wala kang... Hindi ko naman sinasabi wala kang pera, pero wala kang sweldo. I really felt so low, but I'm also a strong believer of what's meant for you will be for you. And same thing goes, What's not meant for you will never be for you. Kahit tumirik pa yung mata mo, kahit mamuti pa yung eyeballs mo, hindi mapupunta sa'yo ang hindi para sa'yo. Pag patuloy kong kinaawaan lang yung sarili ko, pag wala akong ginawa, will it change anything? No. It will remain the same until 
you do something about it. What could I do was to change my perspective, to change my outlook, which could also change my situation for the better, right? So I took online course, I continue my vlogging, I edit, I just continued on applying, submitting applications. So I did what I must do. One Thursday morning, I woke up feeling so sick. I had cough, colds, body pains. I couldn't even stand up properly. I just wanted to lie down. COVID was out of the picture. I say I was so sure that that was not COVID related because hindi ako lumalabas at hindi kami palalabas ng bahay. I was pretty sure that that was not COVID related at all. Thursday afternoon, I received a job offer through email. I was so happy. I was really, really, and still am happy. It even made me happier because they gave me my expected salary. So, I wanted to scream out of joy. I wanted to share the good news to my whole family. And I was about to do that when one of my family members came in the room. Sabi niya, wala akong panlasa, wala akong pangamoy. I was, again, for the eighth time, I was shocked. Kasi alam naman natin yung connotation, di ba? Kapag wala kang panlasa, wala kang pangamoy, most probably, COVID-related. I was feeling the symptoms already. And the possibility of getting infected really scared me. Especially para sa family ko. At sama-sama kasi kami sa kwarto. Malaki yung chance na magkahawaan talaga kami. Nagpa-test siya and guess what? He's positive. I cried so hard. Para sa kanya, syempre, I want each of us to have a healthy body. This was supposed to be a happy moment. I was supposed to celebrate. We were supposed to celebrate. But how could I? How could we? With we have COVID. We isolated ourselves. First two days, I have I had colds. I had cough. I still have cough. I had body pain. Nahirapan ako tumayo. Gusto ko na kahiga lang. Yung chest ko, parang may nakadagat sa dibdib ko. Alam mo yung naglagay ka ng zonrock sa banyo tapos kinulog mo yung sarili mo doon. Yung panlasa ko, at saka pang amoy ko meron. Pero yung pang amoy ko, alam ko, I needed to sniff para mas maamoy ko yung bagay. Meron akong panlasa, pero ang pait ng mga nalasahan ko. Parang yung hindi ko alam kung bakit. Basta napapaitan ako sa mga kinakain ko, iniinom ko. Kahit they were not supposed to be bitter, but they tasted so bitter. Then, I got diarrhea. Yung wala na nga akong gano'ng kumain, nagtatay pa ako. Sobrang sakit ng ulo ko for three consecutive days na hindi tumatalab yung paracetamol na iniinom ko every four hours. The doctor advised me to take medicine for my dry cough. Nag-start na kayo magsuog. This helped us para mas makahinga kami ng maayos. Uminom din kami ng salabat. Nag-take kami ng uh, 1,000 mg na vitamin C with zinc. Kumakain kami ng healthy, natutulog ng maaga, and most importantly, I pray even harder. And by the way, may ubo pa din ako and still in quarantine as I speak. So, meron pa din kami. But this experience made me realize how important your and your family's health is and how one's action can affect your entire family. I'm not blaming anyone. The reason why I am experiencing these challenges is be probably because God knows I can overcome this with His help. There are things that we have to experience because God knows this, that this will make us stronger and make us a better person. God will never put you through challenges just because He just feels like it. Or trip niya lang. There are uh, reasons for everything. He got your back. He got our back. He's making move behind the scenes. Sabi nga sa kata ni Nina, love moves in mysterious way. But I strongly believe that God moves in mysterious ways.
now I appreciate our health, our life even more. Life is indeed such a blessing that each of us should be thankful for, should be grateful for. And we should all always appreciate little things and be thankful for everything that we receive, however small it is. Material things fade, degrade, can be replaced. But your health, your life is irreplaceable and even more precious than any expensive things in this world. So, ayun lang yung gusto kong i-share sa inyo. Hindi ko alam kung kailan ko ma-upload to. Hindi ko alam kung magaling na kami by that time. Pero for those people na nakaka-experience ng challenges sa buhay, daanan lang natin, huwag nating tambayan, huwag nating tirahan because life must go on and problems come and go. Always pray and things will get better. Kasi God put you through that situation because He knows that you can overcome those obstacles, that you are a strong person. And if you're not a strong person, He will give you strength to fight and stand victorious. That's it for my vlog. I hope na kung may pinagdadaanan kayo, ay malagpasan nyo na rin yan, malagpasan nyo ng mga pagsubok na yan. Just pray hard. Ngayon, kung hindi gumagana yung prayers nyo, pray even harder. Kung hindi pa din gumagana, pray even hardest. Of course, do whatever you can. Yung mga kaya nyong gawin, gawin nyo. And the rest that you cannot, that's out of your control, lift everything up to our Lord Jesus Christ. See you on my next vlog, guys. Bye!